So who are you and who are you standing for? Please? Hi, I am, my name is David Wickham and I'm standing for the English Democrats. So David, um, why put yourself forward for the Corby by-election? Uh, good question. Um, primarily, I, I suppose I am one of those individuals that sat in front of question times and started arguing with the TV screen. But I've got to a point now just out of pure frustration of the way I believe democracy is being dissolved and eroded in this country, that it is time to stand up and actually do something about that. What do you mean then? I don't feel that we have a government that represents the people anymore. I think that there are various policies and measures that are coming out that I personally disagree with. I, I think they devalue our nation. I think they're there to harm our nation. Uh, and I want to start up and do something about that. What kind of policies? Well, if we take the... Yes, we all understand that we have a, a global economic crisis. Um, we, you know, we've all heard the stories around what the bankers have done, how we've wanted to bail them out, and uh, we'll be paying those uh, debts off for certainly our lifetime and our children's lifetimes. But, yes, there were social welfare reforms already in the pipeline around that, but none of those have been piloted. None of them were sensed yet. They're still rolling them out now, regardless of the economic issues that we have. Certainly in terms of the ATOS assessments, you know, Osborne's now saying he wants another 10 billion cut from the social welfare system. It, it, our people have been penalised for mistakes of others. And I think there are far better ways and mechanisms that we can reduce those debts, correct things without attacking the most vulnerable in our society. So what do you see as the um, priorities in Corby? Priorities in Corby? Uh, there are many. I mean, yes, I know people are having an issue with youth unemployment. Um, that, for me, is around education. That's around aligning business clusters with educational clusters. And in fairness, some of the local experts are actually already starting doing that. I think that needs to be expanded. We have to provide a future for our young people. I think... As well, there's a knock-on effect to certainly now our young people, not just in Corby, you know, nationally. Can they go to university? Well, if they do, are they forced into debt around tuition fees? So I think, again, that's having an impact on it. Education is a priority for us. I think there's also an issue around what the NHS are doing in amalgamating these, in all these super surgeries and bringing that in. That's a priority. And then the, the other priority... Uh, for Corby, and again nationally, is immigration. You know, everybody that we've spoken to, that is the first thing that they hit you with. And yes, we're all aware of the arguments around that, but we have to have a common sense adult conversation around that. You're standing as an, as an English Democrat. Yeah. I mean, that's interesting because in, in, in Corby there are, of course, lots and lots of Scots people who are um, keen to have their own voice on uh, Scots independence and that's something that the uh, English Democrats are, are interested in. Yeah very much so, we're, we're actually looking to have a, a, a debate meeting on the 10th of November to, to discuss that very issue. Um, yes, Corby has a, a, a very large Scottish or Scottish derived uh, population, in fairness half my family are Scottish, my wife's Scottish. <laughs> um, but do I believe in English independence? No I don't. Uh, the British and the United Kingdom has always been stronger together and we fully support, support the United Kingdom being together. What we have now is a situation with this devolutionary process that we've been given. We have th three, three out of four countries, or nations as you prefer, with Parliament stroke assemblies. England lacks that, which is why we see tuition fees, that's why we see prescription fees in England and nowhere else within the UK. The English Democrats strongly advocate an English Parliament so that there is fairness amongst all four nations. And one of the analogies that I, I use when I'm talking to people is that I have four children. Would I have given three of them five pound pocket money and one of them a pound? Well, as a parent, everybody knows the answer to that. We have a very unfair system of government in, in this country and that needs to be addressed. That can be addressed with England having its own Parliament. Then all four nations have their own Parliament to enact local issues. And I, I think that works. I think. In fairness, if you look at some of the things that the Scottish Assembly have done, you know, that they've had some really, really good successes. Uh, and, and it is a model how the UK can move forward. So why should people vote for you? Purely and simply, because I think career politicians that we have now, and, and again this week we, we've seen more exposés on, maybe not 
blatant expenses abuse, but they're certainly fiddling the rules yet again. So have we learned over the last three years? No. Career politicians in this country are in it for themselves. They've totally become disengaged and detached from you and I, normal Joe public. And I think the time is now to move over and actually put some fresh blood into Westminster. Let's get some honesty back into it and, and let's get some democracy back into our country. To be frank, yeah. you're very unlikely to win this election. Is, well, it, is it worth bothering? Absolutely. Um, what's the point of sitting there in five years moaning and whining about things? You know, I, I listen to people that say, no, I'm not going to vote. It's a protest. Well, no, it's not a protest. Um, and equally, sitting on your backside and not doing anything about it is not a protest. This is about us standing up. If we win, we win. If we don't, we don't. Stranger things have happened. But, you know, we're in it to win it and we'll see where it goes. Thank you very much, sir. Right. Well, that was a little bit easier than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you know, it's um, it may be your first time, it's not mine. No, 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 absolutely. And, and, Thank and, you for that.